for Nation, happy International Clinical Trials Day. I'm on this all-day event with the Clinical Research uh, Association of Canada, CRAC, and one of the panels I was on was about breaking into the industry, and then I was doing a lot of the one-on-one -on -one sessions, how you can do like the three-minute speed dating sessions with people, and the most common thing I get is, you know, whether they're trying to break in or whether they are already in the industry, impressing an employer uh, takes two things. This is what I try to distill it down to because your qualifications, education, background, experience may be identical to someone else, but the variable is always you. The variable is always the extra stuff. So there's two things. Um, the first one is passion. How passionate are you about the space? Why? Not because it's like a feel-good thing, but because the employer wants to know if they're going to invest in you, whether you're research naive or you have experience, that you have enough passion to, to stick it out through the tough times. Because most of the times in clinical research are tough times. It's not easy work. There's a lot of stressful but important work that needs to get done. So do you have passion? How do you demonstrate the passion? You have to be enthusiastic you have to be energetic during the interview you don't want to make people fall asleep uh, you definitely want to demonstrate your why why do you want this job how is it going to help your career and what do you want to do with your career and hopefully that aligns with the company's mission and their objectives for who they want you to be that's number one but then it can't be all about passion either you've got to put in and demonstrate your diligence how much extra stuff have you done? If you're research naive, did you at least bother to research the company who's interviewing you and kind of look at their background and look at what they need help with and maybe what studies they have going on on their website, on clinicaltrials.gov, on social media? Most companies have these kind of postings where you can kind of keep up with company current events. So that demonstrates your diligence. Another thing, did you take courses on Coursera for free or s small payments, uh, small fees for these courses. For example, introduction to breast cancer. If you're applying to a position that requires breast cancer knowledge uh, or expertise or both, did you take a course on Coursera? Coursera's got thousands of courses on all kinds of things. Did you do GCP training for free? Did you do IATA training for free? These are things that demonstrate a little bit of passion as well because you got to be passionate to do that but demonstrate your diligence another example of this is Calvin who I just interviewed on our show who uh, basically was diligent went through all my videos and then put it like a notebook together and was able to effectively demonstrate his knowledge in the interviews even though he was research naive they loved his passion and they loved his diligence so passion and diligence are extremely important you can't have uh, just one of these two you have to have both uh, you can have all the diligence in the world but if you're not excited if you're not showing some kind of passion or if you just your energy levels are not high enough they're gonna think something's wrong but if your energy levels are just way too high and you show no diligence right it's just all talk then it comes across as insincere or, or forced so keep those two things in mind the variable is you happy International Clinical Trials Day Catch you later.